I told my dad I was going to go somewhere else. And this was after I had sent my scores to Harvard, my SAT scores, my grades, and they said, oh, like, she'll, she'll get in. And he looked at me and said, are you stupid? You're going to Harvard. You know, when did you say you wanted to go instead? I was, I was looking at Stanford, UNC, UVA, Duke. So all still top 10 schools. Yeah, but like s soccer, like yeah. such good soccer, and very good academically. But my dad was like, you're going to Harvard. And I was so like, Papa wait, Pearl what? Said, was your, was your dad not banking on you becoming a soccer player? Oh, no. I argued with him. I was in tears my junior year or senior year when I told my dad, I was like, oh, I want to play professional soccer. And he was like, no. You, back then, you made like 16,000 in the league. I had student loans, and I was, and he was like, "You're gonna, you're graduating from Harvard, and you're gonna go make 16k a year. You're supposed to be made. Like, yeah, you're supposed yeah, to be you're, good you're for supposed life. to be going to medical school. Like, what happened? You thought you wanted to be a doctor." Um, and then he, I explained. I said, "Dad, I think I can make the national team. I want to do it." He's like, "You want to make 16k a year?" I said, "Yeah." Sounds great. <laughs> and I got you. <laughs> Papa, Papa Purse is standing. Where is he? I saw him earlier. Right he's, there. He's, would, you, would you say he where? was right? Right here? Yeah. Papa Purse right yeah, there. There he is. Papa Purse, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. come on through. Can we give him a round of applause, everybody? Hey. Where do we want to Where's good for the cameras? Next to me. I should have stayed in the back. <laughs> <laughs> you got to make a cameo. Yes, sir. Come sit good down. Good to meet you again. Uh, me, me, me. Thank you. Make you some room. Oh, I'm fine. So Thank you me. thought she was tripping? You thought she was making a mistake? Yes, absolutely. Yeah? <laughs> absolutely, without a doubt. Um, three years in, and uh, like Mag said, I'm, I'm going to go play soccer. And truth be told, she said it was 15-5. And uh, I'm like, well, no. <laughs> and she proceeded to tell me, you know, national team, et cetera, other things you could do. And so I uh, said, we'll strike a bargain. Um, you go play soccer, but you have to have a plan. So she switched from medical school to law school. And I said, if you promise that you'll go to law school when your career is over in soccer, I'm all for it. I'll be at every game. So I lied. <laughs> <laughs> I Basically. lied and I said, yeah, I'll go to law school. <laughs> and I bought four, four or five uh, LSAT books. And I studied for, for like a year. And I took the LSATs. And I took it one time. Got a good score. Done. Save it for five years. Didn't bring it up again. <laughs> and then I was wow. like, yeah, like it, it's good for five years, Dad. Like, like, I'll go law school, like, after, like, if I don't make the national team and all that stuff. But he's, he's, he hasn't brought it up since. <laughs> would, you, would you like her to still do it? No. At this point, she can do whatever she wants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm good with it. How proud are you? Very. I could have never imagined. Um, she exceeded every goal, every expectation, anything I could have uh, thought of never would have ended up the way it is now. I couldn't be more pleased. You anxious for her when she's playing? No. Um, I know she's prepared. I've always told her, you don't go to practice to practice. You go to practice to show the coach how much you've been practicing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she does it over and above. She's the kind of person that if you ask her to run a mile, she'll run two. And after I notice that, I'm very careful what I say because she'll do more. Mm -hmm. So if I really want her to do something, I'll cut it in half because she'll always do it twice whatever it is. So. You have a background in sports? I play baseball, football. Soccer, I know absolutely nothing about soccer. He was cornerback. He was like Deion Sanders <laughs> <laughs> and a second baseman. He's like, yeah, that is true. There you go. That is true. Thank you for that. <laughs> I can hold on to that as my piece of athleticism. You know, I'm a girl that I have three girls. Mo, he, he just had a, a daughter. What is some advice that you give us in terms of 
you know, what, is there any secret or is there any like tips to, to how you were able to, you know, advise her along her way in a sport that, that you know, you didn't know that as much about? Full support. In my instance, I knew zip about soccer, nothing. Uh, it was, it's played with a ball. That's it. That's all I knew. But she loves soccer, so I love soccer. And even if you feel it may be incorrect, support to the end. I mean, that's how I feel and that's how I uh, approach things. He says that very cavalier when, like, what the support looked like, it's, it's so much more than just, like, the casual, like, full support. Like, my dad's a single father, and he would wake up on his weekends and drive me to soccer, like Chantilly, Virginia. We drove to Florida, like for soccer games. We spent most of our time in the car, like in the pickup truck, just like driving places. In the United States, women's soccer, especially in Maryland, I would say, the least conducive sport, I can't say least, it is not a conducive sport for a single parent. It is so demanding, financially, time-wise, everything. And, there was never a time where he said no. He would always take me to practice, always take me to like go practice outside if I wanted to. He would hop in the goal and I would shoot on him. He's, it was that great. That was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> in the beginning, I could handle it. I mean, the ball would go slow. Uh, toward the end, middle school, I could still, you know, a little bit of athleticism. I could block something. <laughs> But high school, thought you, were bat, you thought you were in batting practice. Oh no, she on purpose. She would aim, and she wasn't even trying to score. She'd aim at me, and I it just I couldn't you know, get right, out of the, the way. Stings. I didn't have any reflexes. Yeah. You just mentioned the fact that you're a single father as well. Do you think that's part of what has made your bond the way it is? For sure. We spent. The, I've spent no. I spent the most time of my entire life with my dad, and he's been with me through absolutely everything. Like, I can't tell you how many soccer trips we're just in the truck and we're just driving and we're just talking. We talk about everything. I tell him everything. And everyone would always say when I was younger, you tell your dad everything? I was like, yeah, dad, this, this boy I liked, <laughs> he didn't like me back. You don't want to hear that from all the time. Like, you told your dad? It's like, yeah, I did, I told him. Um, no, we just, we, he's the best and he's gotten me through everything and even, even, like, he talks about support. Support isn't always positive. There's tons of games where I would come to him, he'd be like, it wasn't good, you didn't work hard. And that was, like, the biggest thing. It was hustle, hustle, hustle. I don't care how well you do. It's like, if you're not hustling, like, I don't care. So I feel like, uh, like, even a better answer just as a daughter to explain, like, something that I really valued from him is that it was never my end product that he valued but it was how I went about things that he cared about. Was it to do with her race and to do with her being a woman that you felt that way, or would that just be your philosophy in life, period? It's my philosophy in life, period, but also that as well. Mm -hmm. um, being twice as good as someone is never a bad thing. And it allows you to have some pitfalls and you're still one and a half times better than <laughs> someone else. Right. So if she can, and she has, I mean, She's exceeded any expectation I could ever have. I can't even dream what has just happened. But yes, if you're twice as good and you falter along, excuse me, along the way, uh, you're one and a half times better. This is Superman to me. And I like, I would never even be close to the person that I am today without him. And I, I'm beyond grateful. And he knows, you know that. <laughs> yeah, and, and also, I, some of the things, she tells me everything, and there are times when I say, that's okay, I, that's I don't, I'm, I'm sorry that I'm all you have, but <laughs> can you, can you work that out on your own? <laughs> Dial it back a little. Yeah, it's, it's way beyond what I want to hear. <laughs> Uh, so, so Mitch had mentioned that you were the, the man who got her into cigars. You introduced her into that world of using a cigar to celebrate and, and appreciating a good cigar. Mm -hmm. yes? yes. Did you guys get to have that moment together after the NWSL final? No, we didn't. No. You didn't? No. It's still pending. Still pending. Can we make it happen? Have we got, 
Hey, look at now. this. Oh, look at this. Paige, thank you. Oh, we you. each get one. Okay. Okay. Right, okay. Here we go. Take one, pass it down. <laughs> okay, what kind of cigar is this? Yeah, what do we got? Is this a mid, mild? What do you guys what? usually smoke? You said Cuban. No, because those are illegal. Not oh. anymore. Not <laughs> Cubans. Not anymore. Oh, yeah, Cuban. <laughs> you good. So, Mid, you have a brother, right? Yeah, big brother. Thank you. Big yeah. brother, okay. There's a lighter. So your baby sister, it's just the two of you? Yeah, go first. Oh, my dad's a guy. What is big brother doing? Oh, so. Um, doing? Oh, well, he's a lawyer. Oh, okay. So yeah. Wow, we, we're right raising family. a successful family Dang, over here. Dang, you good. Like, yeah. Whole empire. When <laughs> are you yours. retiring, sir? <laughs> when are you retiring? No. When are you going to live off these kids? No, not going to happen. No. <laughs> This has been a long time thing for you. Is that good? You've always okay. enjoyed a cigar. Yeah, Can you? I made him stop actually yeah, smoking because all that stuff came out about smoking. I was like, "Stop smoking! I don't like it." And then years later, I was like interested in a cigar. But we've we've only smoked cigars like a couple times. Like it's not like a yearly thing. Is this a good cigar? A good cigar, Pete, or is this like balling on a budget one? We're Can new. At it. What do you think? I, 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 I'm not a connoisseur to know. You smoked cigars before? I have, yeah. That's kind of good. Pop a purse. Yeah, come on, pop a purse. Can you break this down? I would never criticize a gift. Hey. So, you know. That's a nice way of saying it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate it. We got to share the moment with you. Sir, thank you so much for coming through. Mitch, thank you for appreciate bringing your dad. You thank you for coming. So much Super. respect from us, from thank our side, you. for raising such a wonderful daughter. God bless you. Thank, thank you, guys. We appreciate Thanks. you. Thanks, Gabe. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you liked this episode of Kicking It, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to enjoy more raw and unfiltered content from me and the boys.